Personal, and we are going to update you on my life. Well, I am, not we. <laughs> I missed you guys. I took a good month and a forced week off of completes. Um, the first month I kind of took off for myself, just for my own sanity. And the last week I was forced because I literally got a new phone. I'm recording off the same phone but it's still um it's just a new one same iphone i don't know which one i have i think it's the 12 pro but it's a new one um i lost all my contacts my content from previous videos i've pre-recorded for you guys so i'm literally starting all over from a lot of things i lost so much content it sucks but if you missed me on ig or if you've seen me i turned 29 two weeks ago it is i think it's august alexa what's the date today is thursday august 10th okay august 10th it's been 10 days since i turned 29 and so much has happened in the past month 10 days like a lot has happened let's just say my hair looks fabulous i'm gonna show you guys the products i've used i'm super excited but this video is just me updating you guys on my life and also my birthday presents i have so many i also i'm a leo i love presents but i also buy myself a lot of presents during the month of july because come on i also buy myself a lot of presents throughout the year but like july is really the month where i buy myself the most presents i got my nails done for my birthday i haven't got my nails done done like in a minute because let me be honest with you guys super transparent um i went to like this nail salon in my town i feel like i'm out of breath <sighs> i really do like this lighting better it's like less harsh it's not in your face i'm facing my window as well i have two windows one on this side and one this side but i usually film in the corner of my room i think i'm gonna switch to recording this in front of my bed because i just feel like the lighting is just so much better i'm gonna do that from now on just made that decision right in front of you guys okay so yeah the last time i've done my nails um it was like a couple months back maybe a year because i always i keep them cut and short i never like um um paint them or i'm i'm going to start painting them because i just bought like a gel nail polish i'm ranting right now but the last time i went to the nail salon i got like infected one of my nails and i was super traumatized i was like oh my god what the hell I'm too scared, too traumatized, and also like it was just too fin financially to keep up with. It was a lot. Like every girl knows, you put down a good like to get your nails and your toes done a good hundred or even more. The most I spent on getting my nails done has been like eighty dollars. Some people spend more, but I don't get like all the fancy smancy stuff. But yeah, I got my nails done for my birthday. Got my toes the same color. But let's catch you guys up on my life so now that i'm 29 i <laughs> can't believe it i feel like 29 is my it is my last ride of the 20s i have so much to do and i'm just getting started and it's a great feeling but one thing i did i have learned this year that the most important thing doesn't matter how much money you make how much money you have if you're not emotionally physically mentally in a healthy state it does not matter and i learned that from my friends, from my family members. That one of my friends actually kind of lost most of her sight recently. It's really traumatic and she's we've been friends since like um high school, early high school. So super traumatic. It just started like pouring right now. I love when it rains. <sighs> love it. Another friend of mine like broke her ankle in three places. It's very devastating and i'm just like wow it's it's a really big eye opener when your close ones are hurt in any way anyway it doesn't matter like if it's physically but also mentally emotionally so i took a step back definitely to like get the bigger picture and what's important and i want to show up more authentically i've been saying that with you guys but i took a lot of um emotional and mental breaks because it just became too not that it was came too much it's just now that i'm 
aging <laughs> I felt if you, you would think I'm like 50 but now that I um I'm you know growing I feel like my brand is shifting a lot and it's just really hard to pinpoint on what I want to show up as but I I know who I am but I don't show you guys all parts of me because I only show you guys my hair and the beauty and there's nothing wrong with that because that's always gonna be me because I'm a Leo I love that stuff I do want to show you guys what I do behind the scenes to like you know um be that Aline if that makes any sense you know I did a lot of um healing with um womb healing my friend she owns her own private practice and she's a psychotherapist and eventually in the future um we're gonna work together and I'm really excited about that but that's like in the future future and I just became a social media manager for one of my actually my best friend her business partner I became her social media manager her brand manager and you know this summer we kind of were kind of we took off she works in Cali so we zoom a lot she's great she's so beautiful her name is Anastasia um she probably won't see this because she's always so busy but yeah and it's been a great working with her and I'm also working for myself not making anything right now because I'm trying to like build my own brand so it's a lot of work people don't really like get into detail on how much work it is to build your own brand and company it's a lot of work don't get me wrong it's a lot like I'm doing everything on my own I am my cheerleader I am my um production assistant I am my um director I am everything my hair manager my um costume designer I am everything I went to school if you guys don't know I went to school I got a, I have a BFA in theater so I'm very in the theatrical side of, you know, while it's getting like darker in my room. Because you could see, I could just see like since it started raining. But yeah, that's been going on with my um, personal life. Still single. I'm not looking though. I'm really not. Because the last time I looked, it was a complete fail. Online dating is for some people. And online dating is not for everyone and it kind of sucked i had really bad experiences when i online dated i met these great guys in the beginning and they ended up being complete huge walking red flags so that sucked but that was like three years ago so i haven't really been in the dating scene in like three years i'm just going all out like I'm health wealth you know i'm ca literally catching you guys up on everything oh i didn't catch you guys up on my health life well obviously i'm healthy you can see i been working out like an animal the past three years or so i'm noticing i'm getting stronger and it's not i used to like have major body dysmorphia when i was everybody who hasn't everybody has in college and i been working on that and it's it's a lot it's definitely emotionally draining <sighs> exhausted you can hear the background rain it's pouring i love when it rains i love it so what are we talking about so yeah i i used to like be i used to aim to be like the skinny person and i'm not i'm a thick i'm thick i have curves i'm dominican i love my curves i love my curls like i have boobs like boobs i don't show you guys my boobs um right now i literally am not wearing a bra i'm not showing you guys <laughs> i'm literally wearing like a cute top and then the pants is like pajama pants that's literally um what i'm wearing so yeah like i've always been a curvy person and i'm not striving to be this hold on my brother's like no one respects me once again same old things happening in my family everybody doesn't respect me when i'm recording i told nobody to bother me oh i didn't show you guys my cuts i got a a trim kind of kind of like the same shape my hair has grown since then like it was probably much up to here but it's it's growing it's a lot it's a little damp i just um washed my hair for you guys i wash my hair for you guys see so yeah, i've been working out like crazy the past three years or so and um the results it's definitely a journey it's a huge journey um to dedicate yourself dedicate to yourself that you could um finish something because yeah, we're always starting and we're always ending we're always starting over again you know what i mean but since i have one more year in my 20s i know my metabolism is going to slowly surely go down but i don't want that to happen because I promised myself before I turn 30, I'm going to be, mark my words, before I turn 30, I am going to be probably the strongest I have ever been. And I know that it's going to happen because I've been consistent. I worked out on my birthday 
this year. I never work out on my birthday. That's how literally dedicated and consistent and motivated I am. And I love working out. The workouts I usually do is I have this app. It's, um, hold on, let me like end this because it's a lot. Hold on. I follow Noelle Binep. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always like um, reposting her stuff on my story. I love her workouts. They're very like, it's a lot of strength training. It's like literally for five days, five days a week I work out. Hopefully if I don't, I'll um, do four. And within those days as well, I'm also incorporating yoga. I do yoga on Saturdays and I've been doing yoga also for the past year. I'm really proud of myself. I I um what's that word I'm looking for? I, I um stuck to it. I never really stick to classes. I usually do my own thing. But I'm really happy, and I feel like yoga has brought me into my femininity, and it's been amazing. Like, if you guys know, I mean, obviously you guys know I'm a Leo. Leos are fixed signs, and a lot of Leo women are have a lot of masculine energy, that boss girl energy. Like, look at J Lo, look at um. Robert De Niro. A lot of amazing actors are Leos. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Leos usually tend to like, especially women, we tend to like go more to our masculine energy. And I've been working on balancing my masculine energy to my feminine energy. I've been wearing more colors. I've been wearing more jewelry. I've been doing my nails. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I always done my hair. That's one thing. My hair is always done. But never like, Oh, in my face, I always do my mass routines, but nails and like wearing like dresses and stuff. Like I always done that stuff, but now I'm doing it more that I'm getting older. I'm like, I want to be more of my feminine energy. And let me tell you guys something. Ever since I embraced my feminine energy side, I've been getting a lot, a lot of male gaze, the male gaze, one should say. I've been getting a lot of that. A lot of men at the gym, everywhere I go, like men literally stop. And like, you know, when you see yourself every day, you're just like, I don't feel like, cause you know, we all are insecure. Like, I don't feel like I'm this person, but you're like, oh wow, I am actually pretty. If that makes sense. It does make sense. You girls know, women, folks. Um, Yeah, like I've been getting that a lot and a lot of male attention. I feel like your energy, when you're like, I'm bringing out that energy into the universe that you have this like feminine, love and you're embodying it like you're gonna attract a lot of male attention and i never I'm not, I'm not mad at it i'm not but yeah it's pretty much it i catch you guys up on um my health life wealth and love well you already know love is right now we're working on it i do want a really big love for my wish i can't tell you guys my wish because it won't go true so i feel like it won't I will. I have been manifesting a lot. I am. I am. I've been raised as. Um, I'm. I'm, ra I'm raised. I've always been raised in a Catholic household. I am also spiritual. Like I do a lot of. Um, I do um, readings, oracle readings, tarot, basically, but not like tarot, tarot, because tarot for me is super intense. Because I get overwhelmed when I do when someone does tarot a reading on me. I get overwhelmed. But I do my. I'll show you guys too, because I also got myself. I got myself a new deck as well. I have like three decks. That's another side you guys don't know about me. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys everything. All right. Enough with the heavy. Enough with the heavy. Where's that from? If you're a Twilight lover, you know who said that. All right, let's get on to my birthday gifts. Oh yeah, let me see. My hair is looking good. So I'm going to start with, okay, I did get a $100 Ulta card from my brother and his girlfriend. Thanks, Steph. When I love you. Love you guys. I ordered so much things. Not order. I actually went to the store. This is actually the same day. Like my phone got messed up, so I was like, let me fix my, let me um make it up and buy myself Ulta stuff. It helped a little bit, but I still was sad. My phone. I did just would use this. I got like a satin towel. Don't mind my bruise. I literally bruise like summer peach. A satin towel, literally for the hair. This is like perfect. I just used it. Like you can see, it's like damp. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me put the lighting a little bit there you see it's just super long my hair looks so good guys i'm so obsessed i can't wait to show you guys what i use um super cute i love it but it's it's in the color i think this is like a gold champagne type thing and it's the brand quiche very expensive this brand um this was like a 20 dollar satin towel but it's fine because i'm gonna use the living hell out of this I love it. it. Feels so good, and satin is perfect. If you don't want satin, curl tip, 
if you do not want to use satin you could just use a regular microfiber towel or just like a regular t-shirt when i started my curly hair journey i used a regular cotton t-shirt less frizz all right so we're just gonna go straight to the hair products and then we'll work our way to the technology i'm excited I did this, I did videos for you guys, but since I lost all my stuff, I had to redo everything, but it's fine because I feel like this video, I like it a lot more. It's a little more genuine. It's me. Oh, it's myself. All right. I did use this. It's a little um, wet because I just washed my face. This is my favorite cleanser. It's the La Roche um, Pose Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I love the way this feels. This is great for all types of skin, mostly oily. I have like a combo skin so this is for normal to oily skin love it super clean sulfate free and it is clean free i'm trying to move more to the clean products so love this love this stuff and it doesn't have like a a real it's 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 good for sensitive skin it doesn't have um fragrance to it i don't think i never really smelled it actually now i'm thinking about it but it's pretty good i already use like this much but yeah i got the big one because mama likes okay let's move on to all right i this is like i guess a new product from shea moisture i never never used i have high my porosity and level is very high porosity meaning like depending on how much water intake your hair takes like how fast the um water gets into your hair or how slow um i cannot speak right now what porosity means basically if you dyed your hair and chemically processed it and bleached it and a lot of heat damage your hair is most likely high in porosity if you're if you have virgin hair and never done anything to your hair your hair is very low in porosity so yes my hair is very high because i've done everything <laughs> so this is the high porosity moisture replenish mask it has babao and aloe vera super perfect for color treated to damage curly coily hair it smells amazing guys i already used it too i'm telling you guys i used most of the products that i got because i didn't have a phone and i couldn't i couldn't i'm fine i cut it i just I'm just restocked as well on my eva nyc i haven't used it yet and i also got I haven't used it yet and i also actually guys got the nexus shampoo but it's in the shower like the really big one it's like the moisture one i got that for the whole family because everybody shares everything that i have because my room is like a store my room in this house is a candy store literally everybody comes from room for what do you have i need something conditioner i'm not kidding and i got my strengthen and relieve um relieve strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner by shea moisture as well jamaican black castor oil shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar love this leave-in conditioner this conditioner is amazing for chemically or heat damaged hair i love this stuff remember shea moisture is um very thick they run the products right run very thick in consistency so a little goes a long way and then i got i never tried this brand but i've been wanting to try i think the aesthetics whoever made my, god, my lips are so dry I'm so sorry guys let me second this shirt is obviously too big on me because it's falling apart. I'm just using my Vaseline because those are so dry. But yeah, it's a clarifying shampoo from the brand Monday. And it smells, I did use this and it really did deep clean my hair. It smells like grapefruit and it's sulfate free, paraben free and cruelty free and 100% recyclable. The aesthetics for this brand, whoever done, whoever um, created the aesthetics for this brand Monday, Chef's Kiss, love it. The aesthetic is very beautiful. Like, I would buy this right away just because of the bottle itself. Like, you got me. The influencer gets influenced easily. My favorite from the Ordinary Glycolic Acid I use this for literally everything. This is great for your feet if you have, like, the cracked calluses. And it's a great natural deodorant. Love this stuff. <sighs> this is my holy grail. You will always see me hype up. The ordinary it's super affordable brand love this stuff i use this mostly and you could also use this like a reset if you have like psoriasis or like um itchy scalp mostly for itchy scalp this is great love this stuff now what's next oh since you're already sticking out i got myself this everything i showed already before was for my ulta card i got what else yes oh uh, oh this one too but i bought myself this from amazon i love dr teals this is like a 
soaking solution. It's really good for aches and um, muscle pains. Love this stuff. I love eucalyptus and man, I love the smell. It smells amazing. When um, I use, I take more baths in this in the, I take bubble baths more in the winter because I don't know, the summer it's just so hot. Uh, I use this actually as a foot soak. I got like a thing from Amazon, like a little big, like a big like um, bucket that's like foldable, collapsible. And you can, I just put it right under my drawer. And at night, what I do is I put some Epsom salt and just soak my feet in water. And my feet tend to swell a lot since I, it's just been a thing of mine. I just always had swollen feet. Like it's just a thing. I, it really is. I think it's, it, it's just always been a thing of mine. And that kind of decompresses and relieves that pain. And I love this stuff. This is great. Love Dr. Teal's. I love it. My hair is amazing right now. I'm just saying. This is the last thing I got from the Ulta haul from my birthday gift card. This this is from Good Molecules. Discoloration Correcting Serum. It improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. My sister got it and she swore away and my skin, you know, I have my breakouts here and there, but my dark spots, I'm pretty, I'm very on top of my, I gotta see on my cuticles. So I feel like my hair is frizzing up a little bit, but it's okay. It's all good. We love frizz. This CQ is in the AM and PM. It's a nice serum and this brand is super affordable. And I've been hearing a lot of TikTok, TikTok girlies hyping this up, this brand. So you already know, influencer gets easily influenced. My cousin actually got me two things for my birthday. Um, Melissa, I love you. I saw, we went for a walk um, the beginning of the summer. We went for a couple walks and I don't run. I really don't. I used to, I'm not a runner, I'm so sorry. I'm more of a yoga stream trainer person. <laughs> but this super goop daily dose, it has vitamin C and SPF. Your skin is glowing. Thank me later, love this. I got so many things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have. I have so much more to go. I'm 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 almost done, I swear. Did I do this one? Yeah, I just did that. Might as well sit you right here. Okay, my friend Dariela, love you girl. Love you girl. Um has a subscription for um Tames and Wild. It's like a witchy um uh subscription box that you get and it came in this thing that she got me. Basically a birthday gift. Love it. And she also paid for my hair. Thanks, Daddy, for a dry bar. Well, this isn't the dry bar hair. I also, I forgot. I also did a video for dry bar for you guys. I am so sorry. It's Apple's fault. I completely blame Apple for that. So I have so much content. So much content to show, but it's fine. New content. Um, it's it comes with a little, it's like a succulent. It's so cute and a ceramic little thing it's so pretty it matches my aesthetic very nice i put it in my window i hook it up it's so pretty it's already hooked up but i wanted to show you guys for the video let me put it right here so i don't want it to break i also got myself magnesium there's this book in Barnes and nobles that i read yesterday when i was waiting for my phone to get fixed it was called body astrology it was i just read so much things about leos and like what we have to like do that's better to like a lot of a lot of um the medicine we should start taking not medicine the supplements we should take workouts we should do i found a lot it's a great book i didn't buy it because it was super expensive it was like 35 dollars. that's expensive for a book it was hardcover old deal. but i because i already got a book that i really wanted and i got something else that i really wanted this is magnesium and apparently leos um our bones, something within our bones, I read that we need to take magnesium to calm our nerve muscles. And I got like a, a, a big one and I actually put it in a really cute, like aesthetically pleasing like bottle. It's actually Dariela got me this bottle as well from the subscription from Tamed and Wild. So cute. And for I don't forget, like I just keep it right there in my desk in front of them, in front of my desk so I can take it every day. So super cute. It's good for bone health and muscle health and relaxation. Love this stuff. I already took already before I've done this video, so yeah. And they're very big pills, so if you don't like to um, take really big pills, just get the liquid form. Anyways, and then she gave me this charm. I actually have an anklet too. It's so cute that goes with this charm. It's like the Luth, the Luth, um Lug's charm symbol. So beautiful. It came, I had to get like a little um, chain to put in it. It's so pretty. You see it guys? I literally, I've been, um, I wore it yesterday and I had a really lucky day yesterday. Like I got this new phone for free. I didn't pay nothing for it, but I also have Apple Care and Apple Theft. Usually they'll pay you some type of 
deductible that you had to pay but i didn't pay for nothing because it was their fault um so yeah and then i what else happened uh something else i got free slurpee that was with 7-eleven just opened up and everything it's just gonna be so many fun things happened so i'm definitely keeping that charm around because i think it's a good luck charm and i'm gonna definitely gonna put that to use okay oh and then also the last the one of the last things i got from um Daniela is a seasonal workbook so cool from tamed and wild like this is what it's called um tamed and wild tamed wild and wild so cool guys i already started writing in it it's it's a from august to october 31st i'm super excited i already started um i'm a little behind because i took i started the second week of august but i already started writing in it it's super cute i love this it's um it's like this like each day it's like today i'm grateful for blank today i'm releasing and my attention is for today is blank my mantra is today my mantra for today is can't speak right now or read my mantra for today is blank and it tells you the moon phase um and moon phase we're in and the sign so this is gemini i'm pretty sure gemini and i don't know what moon phase that is and then you could do like a tarot card of a day pull a card and reflect and write your notes of the day love this it's super cute and this is what i got myself in the bookstore i'm really into chakra healing this book is for food and diet essential oils behavioral changes meditation yoga and crystals i started reading it and i was already hooked at the library i'm like i'm getting this i'm getting this i'm getting this i'm really into um chakras and well obviously yoga and meditating and just really being into working with my energy and what is blocked if you know me you guys know i do readings i'm so sorry i need a snack <laughs> i need a snack i got this new deck from rebecca campbell work your light it's so beautiful i actually i'm going to show you guys the other decks i do have from her i love anything and everything from rebecca campbell this is her right there see her so cute this deck is so beautiful i love this how cute you are the oracle so pretty but it's so pretty this is like the readings that i usually do i do more of um of confirmation readings um inquiry readings and oh, sorry this is more of like an action cards activation cards transmission cards so basically if you're scared of um any of that tarot world it's completely fine tarot doesn't really tell you what to do it just gives you kind of clarity and if you're on the right path and what path you should be taking to just fill your soul purpose i feel like that's the point that's what tarot's for like hey girl you're messing up you gotta do this to get to here it gives you basically more clarity it doesn't tell you what to do but let me tell you the readings i do if you know my my friends know my readings are super super accurate and it's kind of scary i just got my sister into tarot too but she does the real tarot like i do the fun and cute maybe when i'm older i'll get more into the more intense ones but i like i just look how pretty these colors are like how could you not oh love show you guys the other cards hold up oh i have to show you guys that too as well my um thing back there so yeah these are the other two decks i have from rebecca campbell this is the starseed oracle and the rose oracle this is more of a feminine womb or uh oracle deck and this is like a star seed star child deck love this if you're into tarot and if you want me to i probably won't do it that's a lot of work i'll do i'll i'll stick to the other things but if you know me or if you want me to do a thing i will actually because you know i love you guys cool see i told you guys i was wearing my pajamas <laughs> You know how Sephora always gives you like cute things. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I got this off Amazon. It's really cute. It's like clean, clean organic lip balms. I just been using the citrus one, and my lips have been super moisturized. I always like in the summer, my lips get super dry. It makes sense that the sun is constantly in your face. I got the Glossier. I needed this um, birthday bomb.com lip balm. It tastes like funfetti cake it tastes so good i'm actually gonna put it on for you guys right now because it's super cute look it's like a transparent it has a little bit of glitter but it's not like so noticeable you're like a disco ball on your lips mm. 
looks like a snack. <laughs> and then I got this as like my birthday gift from Sephora. The Ilia, the mascara and the multi-stick. You could like eyes, cheeks and lips. Love this. Love this brand. It's, and it's clean as well. Glossier is also as well clean. I might as well just show you guys right now what I have the products that I'm wearing right now on my hair. But my hair looks amazing because... Hrisos Curl sent me this. Good news, big news. I'm Hrisos Curl ambassador. Super excited, cannot wait to wear Hrisos Curls, but yes. I just used the product, I just finished doing a reel. I gotta actually send, do the end result. I was like, I gotta fix this right there, but it looks so good, I'm obsessed. I love Hrisos Curls because it smells, the brand itself is run by Julissa pra Prado. I hope I said her name right, and she's, Latina, she's Mexican, love her. It's just a family owned run business. Super excited to work with a fellow, do not Dominicana, Mexicana, super excited. So yes, see, 29s are really looking great. My cousin also got me like really cool vlogging mics. How cute is that? I definitely wanna vlog for you guys at the gym because I feel like a lot of funny things happen to me at the gym. Like how cute is that? I could have totally done this video the whole time like this, but I'm so annoying that I move so much. I had to start it up. But yeah, it's really cute. Like, vlogging mics. Obsessed. Cool. Last, but definitely. <laughs> My sister got me the iPod Air. iPad Air. iPod Air. Imagine. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. I already, like, you guys already know. I already bought a case and everything for it. Gold. All the Brace the Rego Leo in me. Okay. How cute. I already made it. The aesthetic. Isn't it cute? I will do a tutorial on that as well. I'm obsessed. I literally use this for everything now. I'm super excited. New gadget. Like, I have so excited. I do want to get a new case though because I want to get one with a keyboard. But I'm officially a iPad girly. And that is it. Oh, no, I lied. There's one more. My bad boy over here. This is a really long... I'm not going to read it to you guys because it's super long. But... If you get a chance, this is a beautiful poem by Rudy Francisco. He's one of my favorite poets. And it's called A Lot Like You. This is a beaut- I cried so much. I had to get it. This is the same um, poet that is always behind when I'm recording um, the frame you guys know my, in my past videos. It's the one that says perhaps if we it's right there perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely when others see us they know exactly how it should be done i live by that but this is so beautiful i really really encourage you guys to read the poem when you can it's called a lot like you you see right there by Rudy francisco and it's signed by him like i bought this for myself for my birthday and it was on it's very inexpensive um but if you're a huge fan totally recommend supporting him because i love his work and it's very beautiful and that is it all my gifts for myself and from my family members and my friends and thank you for everybody that made my birthday super special for my birthday i went to vida Vele. i posted it also on my instagram i lost all the content content as well for that <laughs> it's okay because you know it was a great day and everybody that was there um, there was a few people that were missing that couldn't make it, and that's fine. Um, but I was super grateful and loved that day. And they came to celebrate their favorite Leo. I am the only Leo in the group. Well, from that side. Jocelyn wasn't there. She's also Leo too, but she wasn't there because she was taking care of her baby. Um, but yeah, I'm super grateful. So much fun that's in store for you guys this year i'm so excited my last year of being 29 in my last 20s era wow like who oh god i'm speechless i've accomplished so much but i still have to accomplish a lot more and i'm so excited to see what this year gets and i don't want to get emotional in front of you guys um but thank you for supporting me for so long thank you for following me and i dare you to choose you i dare you to love yourself i dare you to be you all right love you guys